Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages I get from Spirit uh, for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches um, in this lifetime. And uh, today I'm going to do a Starman Tarot. So it is the Lion's Gate we're in at the moment. So the question that I'm asking is, what is this energetic window going to do uh, for us? And it is this. So, the Six of Pentacles, that's funny, this is the second, I shuffled the deck and that came out this morning, so I was thinking, oh my goodness, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Um, so, the Six of Pentacles is, I hope I have more than enough. And so this is about giving and receiving, stepping into the flow of abundance and the custodian of resources, knowing that there's always enough and you're going to be supported. So, you know, the energy of this is it's so important to be in that high vibrational place, to be in the energy of believing that anything is possible, trusting that your instinct and your intuition is correct, you know, not questioning it, just going for it, no matter what life is throwing you with you you're here to elevate and to be a strong pillar of light so um, the message is at this at the time I started working with Bowie my design partnership of five years was practically bankrupt a passion driven desire to create innovative designs which push boundaries compounded with a scarcity of willing adventurous clients to commission us had chomped through all of our resources the bank had run out of patients and an unexpected bill from the tax office had cast a death sentence on the business. The act would fall in seven weeks, the time delay between the final demands and the administrators showing up like the Grim Reapers. And I'm sure lots of us have felt that. And many times there's that like thinking that everything, you're just like, seriously, it's nothing going in my favour. Um, and then the, the message of this is about that saying that things happen out of the blue when you follow your instinct. So I had just finished this unpleasant calculation when the phone rang. A small boring design project brief was offered, just enough to call a stay of execution for a little longer. But there was no joy in my heart to do it. And that night I dreamt a tall tiger creature, a strange and wonderful power totem came to me. It was surrounded by flying serpents and it glowed with the spec spectral turquoise and pinks. Every time it opened its arms, I was showered with gold. In the dream, I asked it what I should do, and the, pl the reply was two words, create art. On a rational level, this just didn't make any sense. I was poised at a financial precipice, and yet at once it was the only thing that made sense. All doubt about the path ahead was evaporated by the brilliance of this dream. So, there are times when we must move past our fears and step into a universe of trust. A trust in the natural flow of abundance. Remember, there is never any shortage of resources. They simply need to be channeled in the right direction. In essence, our job is to fully show up and move and inspire people through what we do and how we are in our life. It becomes intensely intimate and involved within us. When we can generously offer life our very best, just for the joy of it happening, life begins to offer us the very best back, almost always in unexpected and delightful ways. I invite you to see how this card can help you to step into the flow of resources and the generosity of others. Okay, so that is the message of what the Lion's Gate energy is going to do. It's, you know, allowing you this energetic window to step into the creative flow of you. Um, and with that, I'm just going to share a letter that I channeled for somebody yesterday because this is very in keeping. This, le this lady is um, a follower of the channel and she has also set up her own channel. And she has recently started doing quantum healing sessions. And um, so she is offering uh, this as a service, but she wanted to for me to channel um, a letter from her guides to ask what they need her to know of her TF journey and so I'm going to share her letter and I'll share her um, her her channel as well because her channel um, she's starting doing the sessions and her channel is on YouTube and uh, she is called Nina 
so um and she has her youtube channel so if you're interested in having quantum healing sessions um she has a video that she talks about herself and her journey and her um sorry and <laughs> and where you know basically her experiences so but i'm going to share the channel letter because it is you know again it's for all of us just to remember what we're doing and the message is this that you've really turned a major corner into the direction of your soul path and your soul destiny the traffic lights have gone from amber to green fully present fully lit up you have pressed the go 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 button good for you good for all the people that you will help in their awakening it's happening and you play a, a key role in the awakening of frozen souls souls that are stuck in a frozen state of forgetfulness you will help them to defrost well done you deserve to know that you are well on your way to fulfilling your divine purpose congrats now the funny thing is is that um just uh when she emailed me back she the video that she had just posted onto her youtube uh was called frozen <laughs> so again it's always like amazing how everything fits together and you get the signs that you need when you need them and um you know that it's all it's all like panned out you're drawn to the right people to help you on your path um you're drawn to get the messages that you need to help you and um yeah it's just yeah it just takes your breath away a bit because it's like oh my goodness have <laughs> the most recent video was all about frozen so uh, I'll read it again, that you're really you've really turned a major corner into the direction of your soul path and your soul destiny. The traffic lights have gone from amber to green, fully present, fully lit up. You have pressed the go, go, go button, good for you. Good for all the people that you will help in their awakening, it's happening. And you play a key role in the awakening of frozen souls. Souls that are stuck in a frozen state of forgetfulness. You will help them to defrost. Well done. You deserve to know that you are well on your way to fulfilling your divine purpose. Congrats. Okay. So, congrats, basically. Uh, well done. So, I'll put her link into the description box. Um, go and follow her. And if you want a quantum healing session, then um, she is offering those. So, letter 21 is this all the love in all the world from all the people in the world couldn't even try to quantify or put into words how deeply my love goes for you it is immeasurable it is beyond what the mind could even comprehend it is so beautiful that it would quite literally take your breath away and leave you dazed and confused and wanting more i know that this is what we both feel for each other a giddy intoxicating mix of pure love pure lust pure embodied passion, passion for life and passion to love wholeheartedly, to love like we've never loved before and like our lives depended on it. Believe me when I say our day is coming, it will come. Okay, so how do I know that it's number 21 today? Because 21 has just been everywhere today already and it's only 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock. Um, it's just like you just get bombarded with a number and then you're like okay I know you want me to read 21 uh, 21 from book 2 is that I love you that I so desperately want to be with you that I wish we could just make that happen right now that I wish our lives weren't so complicated that I wish we were teenagers and we were falling in love no hassles, no responsibilities no ties just you and me our hearts beating only for each other and we could love each other wholly, completely, with every ounce of our beings and every fibre of our bodies. It's a daily struggle to get through the day without holding you in my arms and being able to tell you, I love you. You're my baby. I love you forever. Okay. So that's, you know, this is like the Six of Pentacles, isn't it? It's just like, I want to be able to give you this love. I want to be able to show you this love. You know, I want to be able to live in this love vibration with you. So letter 21 is, I'm so sorry that I've been so confusing and made things so difficult. I wish that I could rewind the clock and go right back to the beginning again. I would definitely do everything different. 
I would have just trusted what my heart was telling me. I wouldn't have suppressed my feelings and pushed down how I felt and pushed you away. I'm so sorry. I know it must have been so difficult for you and I'm so happy that you have stuck by my side. I'm in awe of how amazing you are. I feel like the luckiest man alive that you are mine and I am yours. I can't tell you how much I love you. Okay, well, there you go. I just, okay, I know why that had to come through. It's that message back there saying, you know, I just wish I hadn't made it so difficult because actually I just want to be with you and uh, it would make it, would have made it way easier. Right, so the other, look, the Seven of Swords has just come up and that's, you know, breaking through, leaving all of those swords behind and making decisions basically, breaking out of a glass box. Um, and one more, what is it? It's the Prince of Pentacles. <laughs> Look, the Prince of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Five of Swords is all that mental strife, just like I was saying, breaking out of the box. Prince of Pentacles is, he's coming, he's just on a really, really slow trajectory. <laughs> because even the horse has got grounded its roots into the ground, but the horse is still moving. So just take on board this new energetic gateway, you know. Um, you might be feeling super tired, still have, I have still backache. Um, I know other people that have been experienced backaches and aches and pains and tiredness and, you know, it's, we're all moving on upwards. And so um, that's the other thing is to, the biggest thing is, is to tap into your intuition. If you've got aches and pains, tap into your body, connect with your body, ask what it is you know, um, meditate, really, really get connected. Get connected to your intuition, get connected to your guidance, get co connected to Gaia, get connected to a tree, get connected to your body, get connected to your twin spirit, you know, ask for signs. If you're wavering and having doubt or having anything creep in, then ask for an undeniable sign um, and it will come it will a 100% come. So to give you an example, I asked for an undeniable sign. I was going to a friend's wedding in the pew, in the church where I was sat. Um, I was basically sat and I looked down and on the pew in front of me was my twin surname. And somebody had scratched it into the pew. And uh, I was like, Oh my God, it was just the weirdest thing, you know, it was just like completely off the charts. Like what? Just in the exact spot where I was sat on the pew, somebody had graffitied, scratched in their name and it was my twin surname. So, and I was at a wedding. So, you know, it's these sorts of things that if you need that, then you have to ask and it will come. It will come because of course your twin spirit and the universe want to keep you on the right path, want to keep you on track. Um, because, you know, don't forget that the dark energies will want to stray you off and they'll put in, you know, it's an obstacle course that we're all navigating and it's an energetic obstacle course. So just remember. All right, well, I hope that helps, but it's all about, you know, taking this opportunity of really working with this new energy and, uh, taking the opportunity to be courageous and living by your heart. All right, I hope that helps. Take care. Bye.